Hey guys, this is a video that I have been waiting to film for so long. You're going to see me spend two days deep cleaning my dark kitchen for the last time before it gets transformed into a beautiful bright white kitchen. So come along with me to get some serious cleaning motivation. I'm talking getting down and getting dirty to get some fall cleaning done and then get ready to see a complete kitchen makeover. <music> I don't think I've been this excited for a video in a long time. I cannot wait for you guys to see our kitchen makeover. But first, this was a Sunday before our kitchen painters were coming and they were gonna come the next morning. So I decided that I needed to deep clean my kitchen one last time before they came in and painted everything. And I thought it would be better for the kitchen cabinets to really be stripped of those greasy toddler fingerprints, all of the dust and the dirt. So I was going to wipe them down. I was going to wipe down the backsplash and just give the kitchen a really good clean before they showed up the next morning. So you're gonna see me doing some serious fall deep cleaning all over my entire house. And then at the end, I'm going to show you our transform kitchen. I'm gonna show it to you during the day. And then again at night, we're also going to be adding some new lights. So I'm gonna show you that. And I just will show you our beautiful kitchen at night, which I think is my favorite. So get ready for some serious cleaning motivation and a complete kitchen makeover. Thank you all for taking time out of your day to continually come back to my channel and watch my videos comment and just support my channel if you're new and you're just stumbling upon jamie's journey i'll go ahead and introduce myself i'm jamie i'm married to my husband mike and we are high school sweethearts we met in middle school and we have three daughters my oldest is a five-year-old and then we have twin twin girls who are 18 months old and I've documented my infertility journey here on YouTube. We were able to get pregnant with them with my twins through IVF after many years of trying to get pregnant. We had multiple miscarriages but all of that led me to this journey. Um, I hope here on my channel you can come, you find motivation, you find a friend in me. Hopefully I can add something to your life. You can take something away from my videos. I'm just a mom trying to balance it all and not lose my mind on a daily basis. I am certainly not perfect. You will see that in my household. I don't have a perfect life. Life is not easy for me. I'm exhausted at the end of every day, but we're in this together and I'm going to help you every step of the way. Hopefully I can help you get things done, even if it's just little by little. So please think about hitting the red subscribe button and the notification bell and join my journey. And make sure you say hi to me in the comment section so I can get to know you a little bit better. And I would just love it if everyone can let me know where you're from, where you live, what country, what state. And if you want to get to know me more on a personal level, I'll have a get to know me playlist link in, linked in the description. You can come over there and look at some of my more personal videos.
one of my favorite ways to really give my cabinets a good cleaning i just simply use some warm water and dawn dish soap it does a great job leaves no buildup, and removes everything that was stuck on the cabinets Stay tuned because I'm going to show you guys clips throughout the week of what we did in our kitchen, what it looked every step of the way, what it was like in the middle of the renovation before we do some more cleaning and then finally the kitchen reveal during the day and during the night and the lights we're going to add. Another reason why I would love to have you guys join my journey and make sure you subscribe is you're obviously going to see the kitchen makeover today, but this is really only step one. And when I reveal the kitchen to you, I need your opinion on some other changes we're going to be making in the kitchen. So make sure you stick around because I want you to tell me what your opinion is, what which option you think is better because I have some examples and I need your help. So we are changing some other smaller things up in the kitchen. We're getting new furniture in two weeks. So I will be showing you all of that here on my channel. And then I'm getting a couple of other newer furniture pieces for the living room. So some changes, some home upgrades, and I'm just, I'm really excited. And I cannot wait to share it all with you here on my channel. And of course, I need your opinion because it it's all overwhelming to me. So stick around, give me your opinion, and help me out. Bites creeping in. Cause I've been stone cold since you left me here. So come on. Why won't you reappear? Things that I said came out totally wrong. Can speak of the truth when it's tainted. It got me stone cold I'm really excited to share with you guys the new couch as well. Like I said, um, it gets delivered in about two weeks and we actually went furniture shopping back in February and we found a really nice sectional that we were excited about. We ordered it. It said it was going to take about six weeks to get delivered. So that was going to be, I think, mid-March or so. And then after about four weeks, right when the whole world got shut down, we found out that the company we ordered from went out of business and we were not going to receive our new furniture. Luckily, we were able to get our money back. But at that point, we couldn't go shopping at that time in the year. So we just held off. I guess it wasn't really our concern at the time anyways. So recently we did go shopping. We could not find anything that we really liked at the few furniture stores in our area, but I did found, find one online from Macy's that I fell in love with. It was the perfect color. It had a lot of high ratings. So we pulled the trigger and we ordered it and it was a really quick delivery turnaround time. I think in total four weeks from from the time we ordered it to the time it will be delivered so we have about two weeks and i'm excited to have a sectional i think it'll be really comfortable and it will be nice to update our furniture because we've had ours for over a decade You know that I'm the queen of overthinking It's 
like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now. One of my go-tos for cleaning my stainless steel appliances is the e-cloth pack. I'll have a code for 10% off in the description, but I'm telling you this is the best stainless steel cleaner I've ever used. You just wet the first rag with water, you wring it out, and then you wipe down your stainless steel appliances or whatever is stainless steel, and then you go in and buff it with the other cloth, and that cloth is dry. And I am telling you, it makes my appliance is so shiny and I never see any streaks. These cloths truly are amazing. I don't think I showed the cleaner here, but to wipe down my countertops, I'm using the Jaws Granite Cleaner and it has, it. first of all, it does a really great job on my countertops and it also has a light cucumber scent that is my favorite i will also have a link down below with the coupon code for 25 percent off if you guys want to try out the jaws cleaning products as well I cannot stand well guys i have the living room and kitchen cleaned i have, feel like i have the kitchen prepared for the painters to come tomorrow i just cannot wait so So you guys know what this kitchen looked like before. You've seen my kitchen plenty of times, so I'm gonna be documenting it in the process. So this is mid paint, mid preparation. I'll take, give you guys like a little bit of a tour. I think this video is gonna be a lot of fun because you get to see the before. You get to see like the in between and then you get to see the big reveal. Everything looks so good already. Just can't believe this is our kitchen. It looks way bigger, so much brighter, and all of the doors aren't even on. So they were able to tape everything off. They came in, they set this up. And then I'll show you in the garage. They have like a whole setup in here. <laughs> okay, so it is day two of the kitchen renovation and I wanted to bring the camera down here to see how bright it looks because if you guys have been a follower of mine for a while, if you watch my videos, it's really hard for me to film at night because I feel like when I would film in my kitchen, which you always have the kitchen to clean up at the end of the night, I'd come in here and with the dark cabinets and the dark flooring, it was just so dark and it just looked horrible on camera. And I hated that, <laughs> it was so hard for me to film. But now it is like, I think nine o'clock, so it's late, it's completely dark and like i feel like right now it looks brighter in here than it did in daytime in my old kitchen <laughs> this is insane insane guys i can't believe it <sighs> and what's even crazy is like so you can't even see the floors yet we can't see the countertops so we don't even know how it's going to look so it's gonna be a big reveal <laughs> this is the biggest home renovation home project we've ever done and to some of you guys you're like oh we do that every weekend you know like you like those home projects that's mike and i have never had to do these big projects it's really not our thing because i don't think we have an eye for it like some of you guys like do it it's a hobby you like love pouring your energy into changing your home and changing things up and i think it like sucks the energy out of mike and i so we've really never done we've never really done anything for our houses we've owned two houses and i think all we've ever done is painted and we've painted like bedrooms i don't even think we've painted a kitchen or a living room so this is huge and i think it's the biggest because it's going to completely change the look of our kitchen and i'm so excited so stay tuned guys it's coming it's almost here how excited are you 
You, so many of you guys have been along for the ride. You've been in my old kitchen for three years and here we are. And it's all, it's all because of you guys. Cause I wouldn't have done this without you. I wanted to do it, but I was scared. Again, I'm like not someone to pull the trigger on something major like this. I'm like, what if it doesn't look good? I was afraid it wouldn't look good. And you guys said, it'll look good, Jamie, do it. So I did, and here we are. So it's almost time. I Okay guys, I am standing in my hallway. I'm gonna, I'm about ready to turn the corner and show you the kitchen, but I'll show it to you during the daytime. It's really exciting to see it in the daytime and nighttime, so I'm gonna show you the daytime right now, and then later tonight, you'll see it all illuminated with the new lights and everything. So, are you ready? much bigger they always say that paint makes a huge difference and I don't think I ever realized that because um, we haven't had to paint a lot of rooms in our homes but it is very apparent the kitchen feels much much bigger and it's just brighter and I love it are gonna make some other changes in our house not to the kitchen like I said we're gonna add some lights tonight um, and a few other things here in the next couple weeks and I I'm gonna wait till tonight to show you guys some of the, the smaller changes I want to make and I want your opinion because I always come to you guys I need opinions I need um, to throw ideas off of you because for me it can be very overwhelming to try to figure all of this out and then we have new furniture coming in two weeks so that will be exciting and then a few other new furniture pieces and then so our house will be a little bit updated and we'll be super happy so Wait until you see the lights that we added later on in the evening and how they really make the kitchen pop at night. So I was waiting on the lights to come in the mail from Amazon and I was going to have Mike add them to the kitchen um, and not that they needed any hardware or power tools. It literally was a peel and stick lights. Um, I still was going to have him go ahead and do that for me. And I was also waiting for them to come in the mail. So I figured I would give my upstairs a good cleaning before we finished up our kitchen later that night. So I got started in our master bathroom and I wanted to do a really good clean in here. So to wipe down the mirrors, I'm just using up some old window cleaner mirror and window cleaner that was from the Dollar Tree and then I was using the Jaws foaming bathroom cleaner on my countertops and I was using it on the countertops and then when I go ahead and clean my shower which is a newly launched cleaning product from Jaws and it, it really is a great product. Um, I love the foaming action. I think it does a better job than non-foaming cleaners. And again, if you wanna try the different Jaws products out, I will have a link in the description as well as a coupon code for 25% off. I do not make anything from the sales. So I just wanted to share these products because I think they're really good. 
I've also had a lot of people message me and say that they were surprised by the price and that they didn't think the prices were inflated at all. They thought it was a really, really good price for all of the cleaners, um, or you can buy them individually if you want, especially when you use the 25% off coupon code. So the best part is you can always find these cleaners in stock because right now I'm having a hard time finding anything at my grocery store. So if you want to check, check it out, there is a link with the code in the description. We could go on, but we should know better. We can't go on again. Cause you seem like you want it bad. My head is spinning off the edge. And I'm giving it way too fast, way too fast. We can't go on. So here in the shower, I was planning on giving it a really good scrubbing with the Jaws Foaming Cleaner. And then I was going to go in with my trusty old Rubbermaid Power Scrubber and get into all of the cracks and crevices in the window or the door tracking. I hate the door tracks in the shower. It, I just feel like it's a breeding ground for soap scum and I hate it. hate cleaning it. I no one to say you This might be overrated It's so typical You wanna give it one more try Even though if your mind is telling you it's all a lie Oh, I gotta wake up This might be a breakup Cause I don't believe you when you say that So since we're talking about changing kitchen cabinets, I do want to say that there was absolutely nothing wrong with our old cabinets. Um, I think color is definitely a personal preference, you know, whether you like dark cabinets, white cabinets, or whatever color you want. I did have a few comments and they were not mean comments. They were very nice and respectful. A lot of people saying they loved our dark cabinets. Um, and they were really, really nice cabinets, but I just, it's a personal preference. I did not like the dark cabinets with the dark flooring and our other house, we had dark cabinets, but we had lighter flooring and that definitely made a big difference. I just could not stand the dark on dark, could not do it. So I think it's just a personal preference. There was nothing wrong with our cabinets before at all, but I love, 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 love the white cabinets. So then once I was done with our bathroom, I ran into the twins room to clean up their floor and just put things away. I also wanted to do some disinfecting of their cribs. I kind of get grossed out when I think of how much they touch the outside of their crib. And you know, with babies, toddlers, they have runny noses a lot or snotty noses or they slobber or whatever they're touching. It all goes on their crib. So I like to be a little conscientious of disinfecting their crib as much as I can. So I was using some Clorox wipes, which I was able to score recently at Target. I felt like it was a huge win for 2020 to go into the store and actually see some Clorox wipes. I was limited to one tube of them, but still exciting because I need them right now. I'm sorry. 
myself again But life is one big riddle Of the future and what's been Guess it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go and then I popped into the girls' bathroom because, as you can see, it was pretty messy. And did you see all of that toothpaste mess? I feel like the past couple of videos, I've shown you this mess. And it's just like, how does it get this bad? I have one kid. I mean, three kids who are getting their teeth brushed, but Mike and I brush the twins' teeth. So we are clearly not making this mess. I just can't imagine what it's going to be like when I have three kids making all of that mess. Hopefully by that time, Avery's older and she's not making as big of a mess, but I just don't know what she does. I don't know how she makes this big of a mess. And then I went into the laundry room because I have not cleaned the laundry room in a while. And this is the room that I try to be intentional about deep cleaning about once a month. Again, I don't ever really show you guys everything that's in here, but we do keep the cat's litter box and the dog food in here. And I don't show that to you because who wants to see a cat litter box, right? So I always remove all of that. And then I come in here and I was giving it a good clean because like I said, the dog and the cat are always in here and we're always in here doing laundry. So I use the Jaws disinfectant to clean out the laundry sink because this is where I put my mop heads after I'm done mopping or if we have some, if the twins have a blowout or whatever, we stick all of that in the laundry sink. So after I cleaned everything and wiped everything down in the laundry room, I wanted to make sure I disinfected that sink. And this disinfectant is really nice because you don't have to wipe afterwards so you just spray let it disinfect and you're good to go and then i was going to go in and clean the grout with my favorite grout cleaner which is the resolve foaming carpet cleaner and it makes cleaning grout fun because you just spray it on there it's really satisfying to spray it on there and you let it sit for about 15 minutes or so and then go back and scrub it and just letting the foam sit there it already cleans for you but if you need some extra scrubbing power you can go in with the toothbrush or i use my power scrubber and it just kind of double punches it and does an extra good job as soon as it's over So then the last thing that I was going to do before the kitchen was vacuum my bed. This is another deep clean task that I don't get to a lot, but our cat, our dog are always walking in our room, rubbing up against the bed. So I wanted to go in here and just vacuum it. Okay, so these are the lights that we're going to put um, under the cabinets. And they light up like that. There's a remote control 
even so that'll make it way easier just to turn them all on at once we got them on amazon i'll have them linked down below and they just stick right on under the cabinets and they're also touch so you can touch them or there's a remote I want to close my eyes and go back Play it in my mind A movie of us two, yeah We were happy at the time Can't remember what it felt like We used to be so strong That picture-perfect sky now It looks so great and cold We've been playing here since 4 a.m. And you haven't said I got the pumpkins from the dollar section at Target and I thought it would be nice to have a little pop of orange in there now that we have so much white in the kitchen. And I also got the stand for the soap um, from the dollar section at Target a couple of weeks ago. I think it's considered a cake stand and I love the light gray color. Okay guys, the kids are in bed. We just finished putting up the lights and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Just be honest, be a man right now. Say it's over. in July, got stuck out in the rain, but we danced around and didn't mind it, so young and reckless, baby, you and I, fit just like a glove, but I guess that's over now, we've been playing here since 4 a.m. and you haven't said Even with the under cabinet lightings turned off, you'll see that the kitchen just looks bright and the light just really pops off the cabinets, which again, if you know my old kitchen, it was such a dark dungeon in here and the white just makes a huge difference. So I need to mop in here. I've not mopped in here in a while. Um, so I figured I'd bring you along for the first mop in the new kitchen. You guys can mop along with me, but first I need your opinion. So the other changes, we are going to swap out these pendant lights. I'm in the middle of looking for all of that online right now, but I am going to switch those out, but I do need your opinion on two other things here in the kitchen. Number one, bar stools. So these just blend in with the dark flooring. I do want to get different ones. Um, I will be inserting some pictures here and you can let me know option one, two, three. I think I have three options, maybe four, but I'll label them so you can let me know in the comment section which one you like better. I know everyone will say no fabric, no fabric, no fabric with kids, but I don't know. Sometimes I like the look of the fabric. Um, but I definitely want something different color, just something to break up from the floor. So let me know which option you like better as far as bar stools and then curtains. So obviously before we had such a dark kitchen that I wanted to keep it light as possible. So I don't hate the white curtains. There is like a little sheen to them, which I kind of like if you look. So here's my issue here with switching out the curtains. I don't know what color I would go with. I don't want to go with the pattern. Um, I want to keep it simple. Maybe I'm boring, but I like simple, clean, but I want to keep it simple, clean, and basic for in here. So I don't want to go too crazy and I don't want to go with anything too colorful. <laughs> I like the white, I like grays and blues. Um, and I just don't see that really working um, well in here. So let me know if you guys think that those white curtains work or if you have any other options. Um, if you do have other options, leave me links so I can at least try it out. Uh, but yeah, so I need opinions on the curtains if you guys think they work, if I need to switch it out, and then for sure the bar stools. So let me know. And then upcoming here, like I said, we're gonna change out those pendant lights. Um, in two weeks, we are getting new furniture. It's going to be a sectional. So it's gonna be a sectional. So we'll, we'll, 
So we're gonna be getting rid of the end tables. We don't know if we're gonna have a coffee table or not. Um, I know a lot of people suggested a storage ottoman, which we used to have in here, and it's of course nice to have plenty of storage with kids. But my thing is if we're getting rid of the end tables because the sectional is gonna go to the wall and then come around, I personally like a place to set my water, set my drink, whatever. Um, I know we could have trays, but I like the idea of a coffee table. I just don't know if it'll be too much here. So I think we're just gonna kind of wait. We're gonna wait to get the furniture in, and then we're gonna kind of measure and see what works. So definitely getting new furniture in two weeks, so stay tuned for that. Maybe a coffee table, and then I've talked about this before, we're gonna replace this, and I would like to replace that. And I'm thinking something, nicer looking and better for toy storage and all of the kids stuff. So that's the plan. I'll be docu documenting it all here on my channel. I'm excited. Like I said, we've been waiting so long to do these little updates in our home and we're just excited for the opportunity and the ability to do it now. So cannot wait to share all of this with you, but make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'm probably going to be posting a ton over there asking for more opinions and your help. So make sure you're following me over there. And now, I know it's late, but I am ready to mop in this kitchen while everyone's asleep and it's quiet. <laughs> I know that kind of makes me a nerd, but I'm really, I'm really excited to mop. What it feels like That's gonna be it. I hope you guys like my kitchen. Thanks for sticking around and thanks for pushing me to do this because I love it. I'll see you guys in the next video.